welcome to the next lecture so today we are going to see some other draw commands basically to say we are going to see polygons and how they are drawn so polygons are basically rectangle square pentagon or any such uh, uh, multi sided closed figures so uh, as far as engineering drawing is concerned most of us will be using a regular polygon a regular polygon is nothing but polygons of equal sides and they subtend equal angle in the center so keeping that in mind let us go ahead with the polygon command and you can find the polygon command right over here so here you have two of them one is a rectangle the other one is a polygon so first let me introduce you the rectangle command so as you can see when i keep my mouse on top of it it shows me how to draw a rectangle i have to choose the opposite two corners so that can be in any way that is from the top left corner to the bottom right corner or from the bottom left corner to the top right corner it should be diagonal opposite let us now try drawing a rectangle so it's basically simple when i click on that button it immediately invokes the command and you can see it here rectangle specify the first corner point so what i would do is pick up one point and then i can go and click the next point to create my rectangle but as engineers we are not going to draw some free diagrams we will be using precise drawings so for that let us start again so here let me start with this one of the points now let me go with the next point with precision so let me say i need a rectangle of 100 mm width and 50 mm height so i have to give at the rate 100 comma 50 that is i have to go from the current point of selection 100 mm in the x direction and 50 mm in the y direction press enter and there you go you have a rectangle of 100 mm by 50 mm dimension that's it about rectangle and you can pick these points uh, based on different selection methods that i have already introduced to you now coming to polygon if i click on polygon the immediate response that i that comes on to my uh, command prompt is enter the number of sides so here i would recommend to type the number of sides if it is a square i would go with 4 if it's a pentagon i would go for 5 if it's a hexagon i would go for 6 like that so if you see here by default number given in angular brackets is the default value if i press enter that means it is going to draw a square so let me say i need to draw a pentagon here so i am going to press number 5 enter now there are different methods in which polygons are constructed now it is asking for specify the center of the polygon or the edge i would be using the edge option rather than going with the center of the polygon so i'll tell you what all are the center of the polygon method okay say for example i'm selecting this as the center of the polygon now it is showing me two options inscribed in a circle and circumscribed about a circle i'll show you both i'm going to go with inscribed in a circle now if you see here the entire polygon is going to be inscribed inside say i'm going to give see there it is given ortho 27.02 let me give 25 so that means now this polygon is lying inside a circle okay, i am going to select the geometric center using object snap and if i draw a circle of say radius uh, of 25 as you can see all the vertices lie exactly at the circumference of the circle this is called inscribed method now let us go with circumscribed again i'm going to use the same uh, command polygon p 
pol is a short form for it and press enter now polygon command has got activated and by default now the value has changed earlier i selected 5 so it has gone to 5 press enter again again i am going to select some center point okay now i go with the circumscribed option now here again i am going to use 25 okay now if you see here what i have basically done is that i have made the polygon with say again 25 i'm going to give this the radius to be 25 so if you see here both the circles are of 25 mm radius the sides are all lying as tangents when i give circumscribed that is all the edges lie as tangent for the circle and if i give inscribed it will come inside the circle and all the vertices of the polygon will lie inside the circle these two methods are not going to be used much for our engineering drawing purposes we will be using the other method of edge so i am again taking the polygon command with number of edges as 5 now i am going to give the edge i am going to click that edge so here it is now i select one of the points and then voila I have it here I can create a polygon of the length of the edge of my wish and not just that even I can define at what angle one of the edges has to be inclined say for example I need a polygon of edge 25 mm and one of the edge is inclined 20 degrees with the horizontal how can I do that so I cannot go roughly so I have to be precise so I go with at the rate 25 less than 20. So it is going to be 25 mm long edge and it is going to be 20 degrees with respect to the horizontal. For example, I'll just show you. See here, it is 25 mm long and the angle would be 20 degrees. So this option of drawing a polygon with edge is much better when compared to any other inscribed or circumscribed option yeah you may use it you may require it at certain points but not always you will be required to use this edge option every single time for engineering drawing so that's it about a pentagon if i would like to draw a hexagon i have to type the number of edges to be six and then again the process remains same edge I can select one of the points and then you know yeah go ahead with uh, the edge say 25 or I can give at the rate 25 less than 45 degrees yeah so as you can see one of the edge this edge is inclined 45 degrees with respect to horizontal and you have a hexagon of edge 25 mm so that's it about polygons using polygon command and also inscribed circumscribed and edge command is also introduced now coming to the next command which is very very important as far as engineering drawing is concerned at times you may require some curves to pass through certain set of points how do i get that for that the command that i use is spline and it is available here if you click on this drop down you find it here this is spline so i click on the spline now what i have to do is click on the points through which the spline has to go through and it creates a free hand curve but it passes through all the points so this spline command will be useful for you when you try to draw certain uh, cut sections or maybe to draw an ellipse this is very particularly useful when you are drawing a projection of lamina now coming to the next important command object snap and this needs to be carefully understood and object snaps are always available in the bottom here so i have my object snap available right below here and you can easily switch on and switch off the object snap with the help of f3 button i press f3 and it is switched off 
I press it again and it turns into a blue that means it is switched on. If you see there is a small down arrow given just next to the object snap button and these are the entities that gets snapped very quickly while drawing. Now if I want to change any of these entities I can either click on it and it goes off so it doesn't come here and if I click on node it comes there or if I want to get center it comes there geometric center anything if I want to switch on and switch off or object snap I can do it like this suppose you are in the middle of a command say line command okay and now you want to pick up the center point of this rectangle here how can I do that so what I would do is press the shift key and then right click on the drawing area it will immediately give you all the snap options and sometimes it so happens that there are multiple entities existing at the same location and you might get confused you may not pick up the right object snap so to avoid such confusions it is always better to use this shift right click and then say yeah I'm gonna go with the object now it only picks up the center point of a geometric entity okay so this is about object snap and if at all you are confused you are not getting any of these menu commands over here in the bottom what should I do it is very simple if you see here on the bottom right hand corner there is a button called customization click on it and you will find several options and you can switch on or switch off any of these options as and when required and it is very easy if you can switch on everything or you can switch on whichever is for your preference I would recommend you to switch on everything so that you don't have to go every time into the customization switch on and then come back to working your way out so I highly recommend doing that that's it for uh, this video lecture uh, we will meet in the next lecture with some set of modify commands thank you